Okay, this is page one, number three. Scott left the airport and traveled toward the train station. Three hours later, Castell left, assume they mean the airport, traveling at 50 miles per hour in an effort to catch up to Scott. After traveling for two hours, Castell finally caught up. What was Scott's average speed? Castell left three hours afterwards, so the two hours that Castell did, plus the three hours where it was only Scott, means that Scott traveled for a total of five hours. Rate times time is distance. Multiply across. 5R is 100. And if they caught up that's going to mean to you that the distance is the same. So five R should be equal to a hundred, or that R is twenty. The units are miles per hour. The key is to put the variable um, on what they're asking for. Scott's average speed put the variable there and then work the rest of it out. Second example, Wilbur left the hardware store and traveled toward the recycling plant at an average speed of 33 kilometers an hour. Mary left two hours later traveling in the same direction, I guess as soon as she left the hardware store in the same place. She was going faster, 55 kilometers per hour. Um, how long did Wilbur travel before Mary caught up? Let T stand for how long Wilbur traveled. Uh, Mary left two hours later. So Mary's time is two hours less than Wilbur's time. Rate times time is distance. Multiply across. 33T. 55T. Um, let's go ahead and call it T minus 2 at first quantity and set them equal to each other. Caught up again means that they're equal. And so that we distribute and get 55t minus 110. That's what 33t is. Or that 110 is 22t. So that t is 5 hours. They traveled for five hours before, uh, Wilbur traveled for five hours before Mary caught up to him. Caught up means same distance. But the key is they're traveling in the same direction and they left from the same point. Let's see an example of one where that's not the case. I'm um, sorry, that was uh, page two, number six. And now finally, page two, number seven. An aircraft carrier left Hawaii traveling west, so we have Hawaii here traveling west, that's what the aircraft carrier did. Uh, happened to leave seven hours before a container ship. Now the container ship traveled in the opposite direction. We're going to assume also left from Hawaii. Assume that the uh, container ship also left from Hawaii. It doesn't say that. But we can assume that. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to solve it. Left from the same. Both, I guess in all these problems, they, they leave from the same place. Uh, but this time, they're going in the opposite direction. The container ship. Um, let's see. Uh, find the aircraft carrier's speed. Okay, let's go ahead and call that R. Um, the container ship was going slower by five kilometers per hour. Um, it, after six hours, 
they were 540 kilometers apart. So the container ship, after the container ship traveled for six hours, they were 540 kilometers apart. Now, the, the, the aircraft carrier left seven hours before the container ship, so the aircraft carrier has been going for 13 hours. Rate times time is distance, 13R, 6 times the quantity, R minus 5. Now, this time they are not equal to each other. The total distance between the ships is 540. So we add these distances together. 13R plus 6R minus 30 is equal to 540. Just distribute the uh, 6 across. And then we have 19R is equal to 570. And it goes in evenly, conveniently. Uh, 19 goes into 570 three times. And so the R is 30 uh, units uh, kilometers per hour. Great. And so uh, the key is the assumption that the uh, tanner ship also left from Hawaii. And we're going to go ahead and say in all these problems, they're leaving from the same point. Maybe they're going the same direction, maybe they're going the opposite direction. If they're going in the same direction, we can talk about them catching up. If they're going in the opposite direction, we can talk about the distance between them. And so uh, that's uh, three examples uh, from, from the worksheet. And then the other three are on the other video. All right, sounds good.